That is back-to-back -back wins for the Toronto Blue Jays as they come from behind and beat the Detroit Tigers 7-5 at Comerica Park and win the series. It has been quite some time since we've been able to say that. But it is nice to say, and I don't care if they were playing the Detroit Tigers. I don't care if you're playing the Baltimore Orioles. You win a series, it's always fun. This game didn't start all that well. It started good in the first inning, but through the first, what, uh, four innings, things weren't good for the Blue Jays. In the very first inning, however, they got off to a really good start. You know, Eric Sogard, as he does all the time now, seems to lead off the ball game with a hit. He singles to center field to lead off the ball game. Then Freddie Galvis doubles to left field. Sogard moves up to third. You guys got runners at second and third. Nobody out looking to do some damage early. And Lourdes Gurriel just thinking, you know what? Let's just get the lead here. So he has to chop, chop her back up the middle. He gets thrown out at first, but one run comes in. Sogard comes home to play, and the Jays have a 1-0 lead. But then problems strike. As Trent Thorne just didn't have a great ball game today. And, uh, I mean, he gave up an RBI single to Dixon in the, in, in the second. Then a two-run shot to, uh, to Goodrum in that second inning. And that one nothing lead you just had turns into a two uh, a three one deficit. Oh, but they ain't done. Bottom four, off of newly acquired J. Wilmer Font, John Hicks hits two run shot and it's a five one Tigers lead. And we're all thinking, my goodness, you know this one doesn't look too good. Looks like their offense is on fire and ours is not. However. We've talked about what you need to do to win ball games, and clutch hits is a huge part of it. Let's go to the top of the fifth. They bring in Gregory Soto to come in to face the Jays' top of the lineup, and he strikes out Eric Sogard to lead off the inning. Then Freddie Galvis singles to right field, and Lourdes Gurriel Jr. doubles to left. He have runners to second and third, one out. And then Randall Grichik walks on four pitches. That's nice, but the tying run is, is at the plate now in Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And like we talked about, you need to get a clutch hit. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. does not disappoint as he sends a fastball in the down and in corner. He turns on it and drills it to center field. And it's gone! First career grand slam for Vladdy, and the Jays are, have tied the ball game at five. Clutch hits, and it's great to see Vladdy get the big fly there today. He ends up going two for four in the ball game, so five hits in the last two games for Vladdy. Are we seeing the, uh, a red hot Vladdy now? Or are we starting to get your play in Detroit? I know, I know, but you gotta start somewhere. And to see him doing this over the first few games, it is nice to see. All right, and the Jays weren't even done there because they were only, it's only tied. But the good thing is, in the next inning, the Jays went three up, three down. And we talk about it, right? Putting a zero in the next half inning. Well, why do you want to do that? Because if your offense is flowing as they were in the fifth, you want to get them back out there as soon as possible. So yeah, you get the four-run inning and you're tied at five. Then in the next half inning, one, two, three, inning over, boom, right back on the bats. And Teoscar Hernandez hits an infield single and Brandon, oh, what was that? Brandon Drury. It's a hanging slider, curveball, whatever the heck you want to call it. And he crushes it to center field and it's gone. Two-run shot. Third home run of the month of May for Brandon Drury. Ninth home run of the year. And the Jays are on top. It's now 7-5. Do you see now how big it is when your lineup is hot to throw it a quick inning the next inning? Because it just keeps the momentum flowing. Because then after the home run, Eric Sogard doubled. Now, ideally, he, he, he tried to... Uh, um, I don't know what happened there. Uh... He was out advancing. On, uh, anyways, on, uh, it says he's doubled. Anyways, but nonetheless, your offense was flowing yet again today, and you win seven five. The bullpen locks it down the rest of the way, and you come away with a victory. The Jays get uh, seven runs on twelve hits. They had one error in the ball game. Tigers five runs on seven hits, no errors, and the Blue Jays come away with the victory. Like I said, back to back victories. The Jays are five and five in their last ten. Can we think about that for a second? They're playing 500 ball over their last 10. 
and a guy like Kevin Biggio, and even Lourdes Gurriel Jr. have not gotten red hot. It tells you that this team is going to be good. It's just a matter of when and, and the pieces and all that stuff. But there were lots of positives to take from this game. And the two guys at the top of the lineup, they had a great game yesterday. And man, did they have an amazing game again today. Eric Sogard went two for five with a run score. Anybody talking about trade bait? Well, he's a pretty good piece there. And Freddie Galvis went three for five with a run score in the ball game. He's now hitting 274 in the year. He's having one heck of a season, is Freddie Galvis. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., one for five with an RBI and a run scored. Obviously, the ground ball that he had and the double, which two batters later led to the to the grand slam from Vladdy. So, yeah, you know what? When you look at numbers in a one for five game, it's not the greatest for Lourdes Gurriel, but. He was productive, and that's what you want to see from your young players. All right, Randall Gritch was one for three with a walk and a run scored in the ball game there today. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., we talked about him. He went two for four, had four RBIs, obviously, with the Grand Slam, and he scored a run, obviously, on the Grand Slam. So his batting average is now up to 249 in the year. He's kind of gotten it back up there after that rough slump that he was on post-All-Star break. Over the last few games, he's really boosted that up, and it's really nice to see for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to see him start to swing the bat better and to see him get a nice hit. We talked about it in yesterday's video, guys. We talked, if you guys, if you guys want to go back and don't trust me, go do so. But I talked about it. I'm like, you know, these players, these young players, and even players in general, when you're not playing well, and then you start to get some really snotty garbage hits. The big ones are, are later to come. They're, they're on their way. And you saw it for Vladdy. Two of his three hits yesterday weren't the greatest, but they counted for hits, so he'll take them on the stat sheet. And then today, he crushes his first career Grand Slam. Great job by Vladdy in the ballgame. Kevin Biggio and Danny Jensen both went 0 for combined for three strikeouts in the ballgame, but Biggio did walk once in the game today. And Teoscar Hernandez continues to be red hot he was two for four again today scored a run he's hitting 214 to oscar hernandez is slowly creeping that average back up there since he's been re recalled from triple a buffalo i think he was hitting 180 something i think it was 188 or something along those lines when he got sent down to triple a and since then well we all know the numbers he's now hitting 214 now they're not sizable numbers but it's growth. And to see guys like him and Danny Jansen finally finding their way and getting consistency, it's great to see. And Brandon Drury went one for four, but one of the biggest hits in the ball game. The two-run shot, the game winner for Brandon Drury. And it's great to see him get a home run, hitting only 220 on the year. But coming up with a big hit and a big moment. And everyone was chirping, hearing Brandon Drury's at first base. Well, I see it first base. Blah, 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 blah. And then he gets the two-run shot, and people are really quiet. Just let it go, people. All right, and as we talked about earlier on, Trent Thornton did not have a great ball game. He had three innings, he had three hits, four runs, walked one, and struck out three, uh, including his 100th uh, strike career. Holy smokes, what just happened there? His, oh my gosh, his 100th career strikeout and his 100th strikeout of the season, and it came against Miguel Cabrera. It was not a very good pitch, but he swung at it and missed. And it's a strikeout for Trent Thornton. That's the only really positive I have out of his outing. However, Wilmer fought when two innings. He went two hits, one run. Obviously, in the two-run shot. And um, and it was the, that was the only earned run that he gave up. Uh, no, that was, excuse me. Trent Thornton gave up the shot. Uh, Wilmer fought gave up one other run in, in his two innings of work. But he struck out four guys. Out of the six outs he got, he struck out four. So we got to keep an eye on here moving forward. Justin Schaefer continues to impress me like crazy. He went an inning, gave up a hit, nothing more. Got, got a strikeout, didn't walk a batter. Uh, his ERA is dropping to 1.76 as Justin Schaefer. David Phelps, the clean inning. No hits, no walks, no strikeouts. ERA dropped to 2.63. And Daniel Hudson, clean inning, no hits, no walks, no strikeouts. ERA dropped to 2.72. Again, trade bait. And Ken Giles, huge trade bait. And after that last uh, outing we saw against the, the Red Sox, a lot of people were wondering, well, is his trade value going down because of the injury and this bad performance? He was out there today and throws an inning, gives up one hit, but strikes out the side, picks up his 14th save on the year, and gets right back into the saves column for Ken Giles. It's great to see for Big Kenny, no matter what happens to him moving forward, no matter what happens to Marcus Stroman moving forward. I'm, I'm happy that they're Blue Jays right now, and if they're not by trade deadline, it's going to suck, but... 
And we also heard the reports earlier today that um, the haul for Marcus Stroman is kind of what the Jays are looking for, like a Chris Archer type of thing. And if you're the Blue Jays fan, if you're the Blue Jays fans, you love to hear it because he damn well deserves it. The Jays damn well deserve that type of haul for Marcus Stroman. He's a damn good pitcher. He's having it in one hell of a season, and in the clutch and in the playoffs, we all know he's an outstanding pitcher. So. That's just that for Marcus Stroman, all right? The Jays look for the C, the series sweep against the Detroit Tigers. 110 first pitch in Detroit there tomorrow afternoon. 110 first pitch. Jacob Wagispeck is the starter in that game tomorrow. We initially were supposed to be Ryan Brucky, but he got pushed back there to tomorrow. Or sorry, Monday's ball game uh, at home against Cleveland. So Jacob Wagispeck will get the start there to, uh, to I guess technically it's today now. Um, but it's tomorrow. And uh, on the mound for the Detroit Tigers is a uh, 25-year-old, is he righty? Uh, Left-handed pitcher, Tyler Alexander, who's thrown one game in the big leagues, or I guess one game this season at least, and uh, he threw five innings, five hits, two runs, gave up a couple home runs, and struck out four. So, uh, look, Jacob Wagner's pack has not had a lot of big league time. This uh, this Anderson uh, t- Tyler Alexander guy clearly has not has not had a lot of big league time as well. So it's going to be really interesting their per- performance in the finale there tomorrow afternoon. All right. So you know what, guys, we're not going to hit the minor leagues because again, I checked the numbers and they weren't really the greatest. Plus, it's already 11 minute video because I knew this one was going to be a long one. Uh, smack that like button if you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below your thoughts on this game, your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on Vladimir Guerrero Jr., your thoughts on. Teoscar Hernandez, Trent Thornton, Ken Giles, everything surrounding this team, and also the reports you obviously I just talked about, about the whole Marcus Stroman piece about getting the big, big, big haul. They want to get the, the Chris Ar- Archer type of haul back, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts on that and the whole Spyron Atkins thing, this trade deadline. All right, so you know what, guys? Um... Check out main man Mo Buckets on Twitter, guys. Blue Jays Wave on Instagram. Hey, if you did not see the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Grand Slam, he, had, he posted it on the uh, on the website or <laughs> on the Instagram page. Blue Jays Wave. So go check that out. I will continue to watch it because it is beautiful to see. All right, and uh, Twitter is down below. Follow up, send me a DM. Do all that great stuff, guys. And I will talk to you guys. Blue Jays edition in the finale there tomorrow afternoon. Jacob Waggish back. Tyler Alexander are the starting pitchers there in tomorrow afternoon's ballgame at Comerica Park in the finale of the series. The Blue Jays look for the series sweep. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys then.